Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Wildermyth. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing okay. Nothing too terrible to complain about. I had a good D&D session today. I'll spare you the enormous details. I am feeling much better than I was at the end of the last episode. That one ran really long. Two hours, way too long for me. I just had to resolve the combat. There was no way around it. So I was pretty tired by the end of that one. So I apologize if you happen to see it and go, wow, this dude is just kind of talking to a wall here. So hopefully we will do better. Uh, it's about the same time, you know, 2.30 in the morning. Nothing too crazy for me. But that said, it is hopefully not going to be another two-hour episode. But we'll see. These later campaigns have definitely kind of thrown more of those elongated combats at me. So we'll see. Regardless, in case you're joining us for the first time, we are currently playing the All the Bones of Summer campaign on Walking Lunch, the hardest difficulty in game. We have the Carved in Stone modifier turned on, which means that we cannot restore our save if I screw up horribly and lose. Additionally, I have the recommended number of calamities for my characters. And our previous episode, we handled Chapter 2's finale pretty confidently. Chapter 3's intro combat, however, had us playing as the Draven and fighting a bunch of Thrixel, which was really difficult because our units were really bad. That is definitely a combat that I think was significantly harder on Walking Lunch because you don't get any of your, you know, Mythwalker or whatever upgrades. Pretty tough overall. So, yeah, that is definitely a, that was a concern. But that's pretty much everything I have to tell you about the last one. As always, you know, if you enjoy Wildermyth and do not hate my playthroughs, consider subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment. I'm a big fan of engagement. Uh, it helps me know how many people actually watch these videos. I know the number is significantly lower than my other series, so fair enough. I get those metrics. I understand. We're at least going to be finishing this campaign because I'm really hyped to do it. And otherwise, I probably will have a few build videos here and there, but I suspect I probably won't be recording random runs of this anymore. You know, content creation takes a lot of effort. This means I'm not doing some other things I might like to do. And yeah, the truth is that I just don't see a ton of growth for the channel from this stuff. And you know, it is what it is. I'm glad to have done it and it'll at least sit there for posterity. So should be good. Regardless, that is about as much as I will say about that. Let's dig into this now. My main goal here, I have a bunch of extra unit friends, so children of our heroes. And I would like to not be forced into playing with all of them. The main problem I'm suffering from here is that I have a lot of retirements coming up. So fortunately, Freyland has exactly one more chapter in him by one year. So that's nice. He doesn't retire now. He retires in chapter four. That's a kid. Rolf will also retire in chapter four, unless I see one of his book quests, which could be good. And then Unremembered is fine. This character is actually immortal. Thousand years of retirement age. Another kid. Crane has, I think Crane makes it all the way through actually, because he has this 4.2 year upbringing and he's already had a cook quest. As long as the next chapter is only 10 years of peace, we should make it. So he may make it all the way, which would be really nice. So I need to strategize around getting four more legacy, two, one more legacy point actually, right? Yeah, exactly one more legacy point without buying any of these other ones as much as I would like them. So truth. The first order of business here, I definitely want to prepare a T3 defense on these using the two dudes I'm not going to be bringing with me right now. Yes. Okay. I then, and it's this one's important because this is the path for the in invasion areas here, right? They'll trek this way and take on this thing right here. Then I also need to clear all this upper area. Hopefully before the next incursion, I need to be pretty optimal about it. So. Yeah. 
We'll have to see. I definitely need to get some combats. It's unclear if there are combats up in this upper area. My general thought process is I'd like to go here, 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 and hopefully have one combat in this, and then I can immediately go recruit and then kind of loop back around. Obviously, everything in this game wants me to lose somehow, so I probably will not be able to do so. But that's what I'm working with here. I'm not going to buy any of these upgrade locations here because they cost one as much as I need the spell threads, right? I'll do that later. If I can get excess legacy points here, these are going to be worth it because we're not getting gear upgrades that we need. The other thing I really think I need is I want to do Danit's opportunity quest here because it means she makes it another chapter, which I think is really important. Yeah. So, okay. The first thing I'll do is I'll probably do the opportunity quest first, see where it lands me, because it doesn't tell me which location it's in, right? It's Danith and Crane, and they'll kind of just wander off to wherever the heck. We'll have to then decide on what comes next based on that. I think that is correct. So I've assigned these dudes. I will have... Yeah, we'll have Rayland, Rolf, and Unremembered help on this one. And then the other two will do the opportunity quest first. And that's where we'll start. Dodging Destiny. Oh, he's messing with something. I did do that right. Probably not, huh? Crane, you in? Oh, you are in here. Why are you in the shed? Did you know you knew where this place was? My fishing wrist is whistling to me. I'm fixing some of the weather gear. Summer's worse than last year. Hard storms are coming. That's good of you. No, yeah, that's that's good initiative. Do do you wanna lend me a hand, maybe? Well, actually, I have a better idea. Save us some work. A trip to Lacaria Valley. We'll see the sights, eat good food, and ignore our responsibilities just for a little while. Those old roads make better friends of all who travel them. I guess it could be nice. <laughs> or he could really want to finish this project. Yeah, we're going. Let's go. We do not take a friend. We only bring those two. Yeah, it's right here. This is actually perfect. Ooh, and we also get Rolf. Who's he want to go with? This is really solid, actually. I could start them both here, right? Because I was just talking about if I get him his opportunity quest, he should make it through chapter five. These are really important opportunities for us to be doing here. So yeah, we'll, we'll start this too. Okay. It's gonna be weird. I maybe should, it's gonna look weird in the thumbnails, but it's fine, regardless. The sickness. Hold up. He has to go with Danith. Okay, no, we skip this. I'm skipping this around real quick. I can't leave tonight. Okay. Yeah, so we don't mess with that right now. I need her not to get distracted from hers. So we continue as planned and we'll do his next. We can't do them simultaneously. Okay. Everyone is assigned. Yeah, cool. Break. Go team. Okay. Dodging destiny. A few days on the trail. Stretch to a week. Mustard. I want some of that nose punching mustard they make and finish there. And that week soon doubles. Leaving Crane, Loth, and Danith long trail sorn and hungry. Further than I remember. It's my fault. How far are we from help, you think? Oh, we'll be fine. They wake late, but don't hurry to start. You been there before, Lucaria Valley? Hmm? No. No, I've come close, though. Spent the autumn one year, traveling with folk from town. The salt woman and her kids. We went there, had an amazing time. Easy place to let days drip by. No one's tipped over by the time they're on their way. Or noon, rather. And the old road dangles into the distance. Wild sage rules the wind. Gravel growls underfoot. Storm clouds come and can't decide where to spill. In the end, they heave their burdens elsewhere. 
The stream means we're a couple of days out. It's your finally bath day. Hey yo, wandering ones. A woman in modest clothes spots them from across a wobbly raft wood bridge. Oh, I didn't see you there. You a local? I'm Danith. This is Crane. She picks her way over to them. Name's Udaya. Noon flight. Half on the road stops south of here. You folk look like you've done some scary stuff. Fought monsters, or, uh, are you roamers? We shave the world, usually. But today we're just out walking. Hmm, sorry. Eager to know, because... Well, because, listen, brigands came to our road stop. Mine and my big sisters. Brigands? That's what they're called out here? Best I can tell, they're roamers from the west. Came in and won't leave. Drinking us dry, eating us all we can supply. My poor sister's serving them, getting all kinds of mistreatment and abuse. I ran to look for help. And well, what about you folk? You pry those brigands out, we'd reward you the best we could. Maybe a week's travel south, all it is. That's not so far. I can cook, though I don't have much food left on me. Opposite of where we're headed. And we've been gone a long time already. Never seem able to leave work behind. Yeah, I know. Won't lie. If you decline, I'll be kind of relieved. We decline. Not this time. Sorry. I like this quest too much the other way. And this one doesn't really kind of supply the things we need here. So, not this time. Sorry, it's just a week travels for a fight against. Uh, we didn't even get into how many there were or might now be. I'm sorry. I hope it does work out. Really got out of there quick, huh? She wasn't pretty enough. Am I supposed to laugh at that? From the dark comes a hungry, pebblesome voice and two fire-seeking eyes. Scroog! How do regular folk get by in this world? We get a little too near the toothy parts of the wood, didn't we? They bend for their weapons. Anyway, regular folk run a lot more than we do. They're in such good shape. Yeah, my knees are already barking. That's what makes us fighters. And we fight. Oh no, a root bear. Not this bad man. I think we just advance and punch this thing to hell. Give it a solid bonkening. A stabbing. Oh, we just auto kill it with a stunt. I like that news. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Ooh, double level ups. Also another level up for Danith off of this one. That's really good. I could give her engage, which is interesting. Hmm. Battle dance is okay. Heroism is good. These are all good skills. I do think I'm going to be taking untouchable. Oh, well, she doesn't really kill a ton of things. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I have to think momentarily about what I prefer here. I think heroism is going to be stronger on her, personally. Yeah, okay. Crane also gets something. Ooh, vigilance is good. Did he ever get paladin plus? He did not. I don't need him to get these other things. He's already tanky enough. We'll give him upgraded vigilance. Four reaction strikes is huge. And I get health. Oh boy. You don't have to sell me too hard on that one. Get Rolf up to eight. Yeah, that's good. Cool. They're restless after that, wary of letting the fire reach beyond its coals. Too wary to let it go out. Poor weird beast. What did even want? Heat? Light? The next day comes as fog. Small rippling hills surround them. Feel like flies on a lake. Got cold, didn't it? We're close. This earth color is familiar to me. The road they're on is narrow, dust all fine and gray. As Danith rounds the next bend, a close knot of trees, the light spreads over her, warm and full. Oh, they found the place. Look up now, we're here. Oh, he's surprised. Dishes, dishes. They move slow, like rainwater. Are absorb like rainwater are absorbed into the sun-threaded slopes of Lucaria Valley. So I could this is like permanent benefits to them. They'll chill together. Charisma is really strong here, so I like that. Time glides by, counted in clouds passing. In shifting vigils of birds. 
in mellow chirps of crickets. I think everyone should come here. They'd leave a lot less of a hurry to go bleed and spill blood. Yeah, pass me a soap. <laughs> they manage a calm week in Lucaria Valley. They are untroubled. And tomorrow we're leaving? I must be downed. They look at each other. The road going home is tougher than it was coming abroad. Worth the aches and the pains? It wouldn't be as beautiful without the aches and the pains. The trip trickles to an end. Sweet. She now gets that plus 10 and an extra level up. And that gives her heroism an extra upgrade to it. Huh. I do like Stalwart a lot here. He is really good. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take the Heroism Plus here. This is going to be really powerful to get three, two extra action points. And these other ones don't impress me terribly much. Yeah, cool. Now that should get her out of retirement range. Yeah, she should actually not retire, even though it says she will. Okay, and then immediately... Let's look for the opportunity quest here. We're going to the sickness. I'll actually read it this time. Finnefield seems to drift in the night. A haunted ship, splicing still seas in silence. The village languishes in the grips of an awful disease. Many lives taken. Many more taken ill. Is that Rolf? Danith, you're beautiful. No one is on the streets but them. The stink of disease curls out each window. Only crickets and the occasional owl song are there to remember the world won't end tonight. Fate has chosen you to accompany me then. I'm glad you're here. Seems like you're planning on leaving? It hangs over me, Danith. A brilliant lodestar. The road will be long. I feel the morning I was born for soon may be dawn. The morning you were born for? I'll be there when it comes. You can count on me. We go to a wild place that appeared to me in a dream. There's a poison in this town that was born somewhere distant. I don't suppose there's a chance this was just a dream, like any other dream? No, if you trust me. Just know that there are things that happen to me that are meant to happen. This is one of them. The journey begins at the dawnward tip of the year's longest night. Perhaps it's merely coincidence. Or perhaps destiny's hand has touched the scales. Yeah, we go. And it's just those two. Everyone else sticks behind. It will wait because I need to add Crane Loth to this party here. Yeah, because they have to go all the way down there. Cool. Let's see. I could have these folks do a quest, huh? Not a bad call, right? Have what these five scout it? It's not bad. I think there's enough of them. We can scout ahead. Yeah, that is a site for a combat, which is good. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Can these five take on this stuff? Probably? Probably. We should take this, I think. Don't waste time. I hate these newbies, but at least they have tier one gear, right? They can do something. Yeah, they do have tier one armor, at least. It's better than they could have. I don't feel strong about this, but we at least also have Freyland. We should be okay if I bring these folks. Yeah, okay. Get Crane in there. Good job. Memory Lane. I don't know who these people are. I bet this was beautiful once. I wonder what happened to this city. Maybe. That scent. Did you catch that? <laughs> Wasn't me. Har har. No, it's more like... Someone's baking bread. It's something better than just your regular old rye. That spiced pear bread, just like my granny used to make. I thought I'd never smell that again. Who could be cooking bread out here? Someone I already love. Come on. 
Let's not be rushed, Crane. We don't know. It's nearby. The scent is stronger over there. Oh. They find some horrible oak thing. The smell is coming from through there? I don't know about this. It could be anything through there. <laughs> what is this? I have never done this quest before. I... Huh. Okay, so let me think. I, I, it clearly shows me some kind of a gamble on the bottom here, right? I don't know what the stakes are, which is a concern. If I fail, what happens? Huh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what this is, and I can't. I can't risk whatever happens here. I think. I don't know. This could be a lot of really bad stuff. So I'm going to say it's too dangerous. Wow, that really tugs on the heartstrings. Crane, that's really scary. It knew exactly what it would take to get you to come running. Yeah, it really did. But I'm not about to fall for this trick. Granny has been gone a long time. Whatever's through that portal, it's not her. Best we move on. Last start to fade. I'll never forget you. What a weird one. Okay. Draven. That's a scary combat of Draven. Fortunately, the pilot is not in range right now. We do have the haunt. You don't have through shot, do you? No, you don't. It's interesting. I could kill the haunt. Hmm. Let's see. I can bounce the discus here to hit two of them. And that might be enough to guarantee something. compel him here right yes and then I can interfuse because he hasn't walked yet and we can do the discus here which hopefully hits and then breaks the specter step now that should guarantee double crits from unremembered here right wow that's he just murders everything Oh boy, he kills the Raid Knight outright. He's actually really powerful. He's really stepping up here, which I like a lot. That guarantees a crit here, which is good. Now, this lad. I move here, and he just takes a shot. Good, and then we get the kill on the Raid Knight. Good. It does put Burn out of position here, but I'm not terribly worried about that. We'll just defend up here. It's fine. She's going to move up here. Okay, I don't mind the Terror Bird or the Storm Throat. Almost definitely going to get some kind of a harassment. Oh, really? They don't engage. How interesting. Here, he can stab this. Wow, good crit. We can then move like this and get the guaranteed kill on the terror bird. There's the pilot. That's the scariest enemy by a long shot. How close do I have to be to compel it? Here, he's good. I move it. Ooh, if it walks through her tie, the unremembered's tile, it doesn't do what I want. So here, I go to this location, and I discus here. This is good because it guarantees that, yeah, flanking bonus, good. And I need to get out of the way of this pilot, Nobleite. Put Crane in front, and I'll take a Silk Step here on our Archer buddy. He's probably going to jump, is my suspicion. I would be surprised if he doesn't make the jump. Yeah, he gets in range of Crane. 
Which is unfortunate. That's a good block at least. He doesn't get murdered, but he does get punched a bit. Let's see, we advance the crappy dude because I want a murder. We have to take a stab. That's good. All right, we can get the murder now. Good. The pilot dying is really important. Shackle. I can do a movement, right? Yeah, check this. I can compel him to walk up here. I can then throw an axe at it. Let's see, yeah, throw an axe at it. Fine. Burn can now come up here and shoot him. And that matters because now it's unremembered in range to get the kill. Good. Cool. And now she can advance and sort of see what's beyond. We've dealt with all the hard enemies at this stage. It's just like, yeah, random dude, pretty much. It will have to advance. We'll interfuse the fire up here, sure. Move it in the way. Bend, advance her, and chill. He'll have to, or he just runs away. You know what? Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Just run away. I also like it when that happens. Take this discus here and then move into position. We'll advance unremembered. And I'm not even going to do anything with Berg or whatever the hell his name is. Just don't care what he does. He's pointless. What if I just advance here and stab? It's a pretty low likelihood of a stab going through, but it's fine. Hmm. You should withdraw from that discus way in the back, huh? And then interfuse with the barrage way up ahead. You can almost reach. I think he'll see us in advance. I'm gonna chill on this still. Man, or he just does not know what's happening. Just stab him at this stage. I just don't care anymore. I don't think this dude is going to cause me any trouble, really. I'm being pretty rash here, but I just don't think that there's much cause for concern. Just wait. Like, oh no, you do two damage to unremembered and then get stabbed. I, it's just fine. There's enough armor there, wouldn't have mattered. Alright, good. Taking that out with the scrubs is pretty good news. Oh, snap, an upgraded artifact bow. Plus one range? Rolf. What a huge upgrade, man. Heck yeah, plus two stunt damage on that and it gives plus one range? That's excellent. Yeah, what a good one. You know, I'm afraid. Afraid the Draven are more like us than we realize. I don't get it. What if they're people in lizard costumes? So what? Don't you ever worry that we might actually be the bad guys? Well, I've always thought that, you know, who we are to make these judgments. Good, bad, vigilant, genocidal. It's all about your point of view, isn't it? <laughs> Two charisma. Sure, good chat. Good chat. All right. I do want to claim this, but I'm pretty confident it just gets invaded anyway, so I kind of don't care. And that does put us in range for a pickup here. I'm just going to scout ahead, honestly. Should be fine. All right, we get the sickness. Okay. Fog descends sometime after dark. It casts an unhealthy shade over everything. Hmm. So your idea is to attack the place teeming with inscrutable malevolence in the very depths of the night. The sooner we stop it, the less people will suffer. Really, I don't think it's my choice at all. 
He looks around. As they approach Sagbend Altar, an unfamiliar odor comes to them, chemical and thick, coating the insides of their cheeks, turning mealy in their mouths. Peh. Pressing on, the air grows denser, fouler. And then they see it. What do you call that? Oh. Something made that thing. Something evil. It's clearly not here for any friendly purpose. Look inside that sphere. You can see our town suffering. I've always been the kind to kick the anthill. And for some reason, I like that. <laughs> He's surprised. And happy. As they move to destroy the strange edifice, a hiss slices the air at their backs. Ooh. The creature hasn't seen them. Big surprise, I guess. It's guarded. We're gonna ambush it. Let's get him. Come on, I want Gorgon blood to my elbows. I want blood on my boots. Make it pay. Grah! <laughs> okay. And they, they just have to kill a Gorgon. Sure. The thing is, is, I don't really have the ability to get a flank attack on it here, so we're just gonna move up together and do... Oh, he just kills it because of his sick new bow. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Fair enough, right? Fair enough. Oh, nice. Fralin gets some new clothes. Yeah, that's an upgraded version of his armor. Sweet. The Gorgon dead and the glasswork edifice destroyed. For a moment, they can only breathe clean air and hope this will be enough to stem the sickness. If this really does work, I mean, I've never heard of it before, and it strictly doesn't make sense, but this moment, it feels like when you finish a book, you snap the cover closed and hold it to your chest. It's like a fire-warm stone. She's confused. The sun begins to rise and the world reawakens. In the course of a few moments, the dark cloud of the Gorgon spell has blown apart, faded into memory. Rolf and Daneth find no more reason to linger. They head home, where they will find the wasting illness that threatened to overwhelm their town has mysteriously vanished. I don't know why, but I have the feeling something's over, that I don't know what's next. She looks back. I've always had a, the courage to rush in, knowing fate would handle the rest, and sometimes I wished I didn't. But now I'm kind of anxious. Is it gone? So I have to decide, I guess. I have to take charge and... Rolf. <laughs> she looks at him. Look, you've always surprised me and I, I want to do the same for you. So I'm actually happy you feel this way. Let's go do something completely crazy. He looks back. And he is super hyped for that. Sweet. Okay. Upgrade through shot. Yeah, that's pretty excellent. Hit any number of enemies in a line, sign me up. Let's regroup them here. See what we discover up here? Worlds apart, huh? Okay. All right. They're looking at things. What's wrong? I sense magic. Robin. No, this feels more like something is lingering. Come on, it's this way. What is it? It's an overgrown mess. That's what it is. Help me uncover it. Soon. There we go. Ah, it's a nice strong font. What a rush. What are you talking about? We just pulled some weeds. I don't feel anything. It's a font of spell thread. It... It feels like someone is pouring honeyed sunlight, woven with strands of fire through my body. Honeyed sunlight? Yeah, sunlight and starshine. While at the same time, it's an unfurling to the world around you, to the spirit of the place or thing. Objects have spirits? Well, not like conscious ones. It's more that we're connected to everything. Spell thread woven between all reality. Sometimes I feel like there's an entire world I'm missing. We're gonna turn him blue. That way, if I'm forced to use him, he's better. Well, I don't know. I've always sort of worked with the energies from afar. Let's find out. He jumps in it. Kusha. Oof. Are you okay, Kalfar? Yeah, I'm okay. Wow. Like honey and sunlight and fire. 
and I feel... Connected? Yeah, exactly. To everything around me. Or is there even a me? Am I not the same as that tree? As that... Come on, Calfar. We can chat about this on the road. Okay. We made him blue. Spell touched is really powerful. Extremely powerful, in fact. Good for broad swipes characters. Kind of sucks getting it on him, of all of my characters. Would have preferred it landing on, you know, Crane there. But it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. At this stage, the right choice is... Let's see. I need to regroup the team. So I'm going to gather these two. Let's see. These two down there. And I'm going to move them up as well. Actually, they're going to they're going to start the recruiting process. Yeah, let's go. We're going to hit incursion. Yeah, double incursion, huh? It's unfortunate timing. And then we also get calamities. I have eight legacy points. I need seven. I can't cancel these. True. Now, fortunately, it's only two Draven ones, but we will let it happen. Sadly. Okay. Legacy. Who do you have for me? No one that good, actually, huh? We do see Zoraya Fiat. Should I recruit her? She's pretty solid as a mystic. She could be my fifth party member. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to lose someone to retirement at some point. Having another mystic is pretty solid and she's pretty good. You know, open mind arches, naturalist, always solid choices. I do like this build. It's only five legacy points too. The other one they show me is Mock Beeg, who is funny. He's a Vigor Flow mystic. Pretty okay, but I don't know. I don't think I want him here. I'll take her. She's okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Not quite my ideal choice, but she will do just fine. Folk had Zariah. Folks called Zariah an old soul. But that was because they had no better words for her. Stories of legendary battles often felt familiar. Unwritten verses of old ballads came out of her after a warm drink or two. And she dreamed of wind-ragged battles where banners blew and old magic lay buried. So when the moose people drew her out of town with the opportunity to fight, she couldn't tell whether she was leaving home or coming back to it. Okay, let's do the recruit here. Alright, fine. Now, she's not going to represent a ton of value right now. Yeah, let's see. They're going to make it here pretty quick. We need to defend up this place to the best of our abilities. So we want the people who are most likely to succeed. So the warriors need to be doing this. Yeah, OK. Sure. Zariah can... Honestly, she should probably chill. Once these two get here, we'll be able to do a little better. Yeah, fine. Okay, now, thoughts next. I need prepare defense here for tier three will be the extra crew. So these three. We will scout with these five. It's okay because these three go in together. So even if they're behind a little, we're okay. Okay. We'll always bounce these Draven off of this because it's three into three. Let's see. One day. They never finish that, sadly. I could intercept them. That's a strength 13. No, hell no. Yeah, so they're always going to get here in a day. So we never we never finish this. 17 remaining, yeah. So we go down here and we prepare the tier 3 with those three there. Right, because that is the path they're going to take. They're going to move to finish there here. Yes. Meanwhile, these five will fight in this room up here. 
Cool. Entanglement. I'm just saying, when the job needs doing and needs doing quickly, some of us bash the skulls, and others stand in the corner and commune with the furniture. I'm not saying which is better. I'm just saying. <laughs> Her father looks back annoyed. Hey, the furniture has some pent-up rage like you wouldn't believe. They continue on. Gah! Everything all right? I thought I saw a snake, but it was just a vine, I guess. Deep in the undergrowth of monk trunks, the elusive vine stalks its prey. It has surprise on its side, and not a lot else. <laughs> he wisens up to the wisecrack. Ooh, but the vines are real. Gah! He looks back. Yeah! Crane, what do we do? Whatever you do, whatever you do, do it fast. Oh, he gets pulled under. I think we're going to use Danith here. Oh, snap. I can use the mark on Rolf's forehead. Hell yeah, I've never done that before. He suddenly perceives the world through another sense. And so sees the vines for what they are. Children. Rowdy children. You make enemies where none are needed. You invite the torches and the hatchets to this place. If you have the sense of a dandelion seed, you'll end your game now. Rolf speaks with the authority of the Strider. The two voices amplify each other. That's cool. The vines recognize their master and shrink back. How to make that noise? Noise? The creepy rushly noise that came out of your face. Is that why the inside of my mouth tastes like nettle? Either way, thank you. You're not hurt, are you? Not at all. But I'll give the garden a thorough weeding when this is all over, though. I might ask for your help. That was cool. I haven't ever done that one before. Alright. Gorgons, as it were. An inconveniently located water spirit. Who could use that? No one? Not really anyone. Yeah, fair. Okay. How far can she walk? Oh, she can get some real good hits here, huh? Yep. Totally. So, we take Rolf up just far enough so that he can double hit here. Good. She stabs and kills one. And 83%, good enough to kill that dude. Great job. Cool, and now she goes and takes the water spirit. Legacy point, please and thank you. Good. We're gonna interfuse and hit the row here with the discus. Cool, he's just dead. Great job, go team. I do like when things like that come together all nicely. And we advance here and just block up. I'm not really worried about this. Yep, incoming bear. Ah. Uh, bar toth. Interesting. I think the right choice here is advance like this move him up here right put up a guardian and then force the bear to walk forward yeah that's good gets a crit out of it and then can discus something stab this man maybe Just take a shot, I think. It's not ideal, but it will get the job done, I believe. Let's see if I discus here, it never hits anything, huh? I need to kill this thing before the next turn, if at all possible. Hmm. 
throwing the axe is correct here. Ooh, that's a good crit, actually. Means that we get the kill with the stab here. Yeah, great news. And now she can advance and take a defensive stance. Enemies will spawn, but that is A-OK. -okay. Yep, here they come. Three dudes. Top is low. Bogmore on the right. This is good. Yeah. You might be able to get her to kill this thing outright. She does, what, six damage? I don't think that works, actually. Move him here, set up a guardian. You can now compel the Bogmore to his doom. Which is great news. He will take one guaranteed damage from that, sadly. It's just the way it is. How those dudes work, right? I can heroism here, actually. Get up in their grill and punch them in the head. It's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. All that work. And it's a whiff. Eh. Blocked. Enemy is too powerful. We'll chill here, over here, actually. This guy will get a swing on me now. Ah, oh, dodge, though, is good. Ooh. A little concerning. These two will kill this. Because it came in range, get stabbed. Good job. See, I can compel it to move, which is pretty good. Which pretty much guarantees that it dies. Because now Danith gets a guaranteed kill. Good job. Go team, we took one damage. I'm okay with that. The Gorgons do not pose much of a threat. They've somehow avoided so many of the calamities here that it's just fine. I will take the upgraded inspiration. Bigger range and warding is excellent. Yes. Ooh, a tier two staff, huh? It is unupgraded though. I should probably give it to... Hmm. Is a tier two staff with no element better or worse? I think I do want the tier two staff, I believe on Zoraya, give her some strength here. He's using the Starseed Wand, which really matters for him, so yeah. Don't replace her sword with it, actually. We want the staff replaced. Yeah, fine. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you look at this. They have so many... The bloody Dr Raven have gotten so many of them because they get upgraded whenever you fight them, but the other ones have just been so unupgraded. I'm basically always happy to see them take the hit. We will work fast on these, I believe. It will be good. Yep, of course. Yep, we secure the site. I need these things. We move up. The Clockwork Tower. Crane, what's the situation up ahead? I, you have to see this for yourself. Come with me. They advance, and there are Morthagi everywhere. They're living side by side with Morthagi. Hello, friends. Whoa. Ah. Isn't the view from here great? You can see everything for miles around. Say, you two look tired and hungry. Why don't you all come down and join us for dinner? We do a huge communal feast every night, and there are always plenty. Uh, sure, thanks. Hi, friends. Welcome to Fe Feinfeld. Hi, thanks. And there's a Morthaki butler. Okay, that's really creepy. Split up. Enjoy the party, but stay on guard. This feels off. Later. Well? Something weird is going on. Everyone is too happy. Isn't that a good thing? I just saw a woman cut herself by mistake, and everyone just laughed, including her. Maybe it's something in the food. 
Oh, come on. I just finished eating. Um, did you two check that out yet? Oh, no. What is that? No clue, but it looks like some kind of energy is flowing in and out of it. Welcome, strangers. I see you found the Merrymaker. What does it do? Why, it provides the town folk with unlimited happiness. At what cost? Oh, nothing big. Just a tiny bit of their life essence siphoned off to power the machines. Now then, don't look so horrified. They all knew the price going in. I have signed contracts. Let me guess. Shined in blood. We can free them. We could not interfere. Or we can come back later and destroy it. Yeah, we'll come back later and destroy it this time. I think that is fine. Let's see what we get. Later. Looks like everyone is asleep. You sure about this? Yes. We can't leave them as slaves to the thing. Crane, we're about to have company. Hurry. Gar. As the shovel slides in, a terrible screeching fills the night as the gears grind to a halt. It worked. You did it, but I think we should get out of here. It's gonna blow. Run! Oh, it's, it's not gonna blow. Never mind. Around the city, sound of more thoggy constructs powering down can be heard. You fools! I still have a few machines left to take you out with. Actually, no you don't. Ah, anger. I'd almost forgotten the feeling. Okay, well, we just take that out, I, I suppose. Whatever. A very uneventful event, <laughs> as it were. I don't need to claim these here. I'd like to, maybe. I need to upgrade gear, maybe. If I'm going to upgrade anything, it's almost certainly... I want to hit these forest ones for the spell threads. I'll have my three squad do it at some point. They exhausted there. Okay, I don't need to do this upgrade now. We cancel this job. We're going to have them walk up and seal this in. Calamities. I actually don't mind the drop and terror birds getting an upgrade here. It doesn't really matter, so we'll chill on that, actually. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're going to ruin this city, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's attack this shrine. I think so. Um, actually, you know what? All things considered, this is a 52 minute episode right now. I changed my mind. This is a solid place to end it. I think I've done a much better job in this particular episode of handling the overland segments which i think in the previous episode i did a very poor job of and that punished me a lot being able to actually get the free L legacy points off of defending flicker wilds here is really important it stopped that incursion this one will break this one but we'll either die on it or yeah it's gonna die on it actually so i don't really mind it at all We'll start the push on these two sites here, and then we'll move in for the final kill next episode. Yeah, seems good. That should also give us time to catch these heartwood upgrades, so I can actually upgrade stabs and things. So, cool. What's here? Hides or fabrics. I'm not as keen on those because we have pretty decently upgraded gear. It's not maxed out armor-wise, of course, but it's okay. At least on the people who matter, right? Tier 2, Tier 2, Tier 2. He could use a Tier 2. Just something, and she could use a Tier 2. Okay, fair enough. But, yeah, cool. Alright, fair enough. That's as much as I'll do here, so hey, you know, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and come back next time to hopefully wrap up Chapter 3. Take care, folks.